Hello, welcome back to the course of mechatronics. This is Mandra Jado from SITCOE and today we are going to go for the operational amplifiers. So let's start with the presentation here. So basically the objective of this video is to study operational amplifiers. Outcome will be the student will be able to explain the operational amplifiers. So let's start with the amplifiers first. So what is an amplifier? An amplifier is a device which is used to increase or augment the weak signal. The ratio of output signal to input signal is called as a gain and it must be very high so that we can get good signal. Uh, different types of amplifiers can be used. There are mechanical amplifiers, fluid amplifiers, optical and electronics. Uh, for example, in mechanical, amplifi uh, mechanical amplifiers, we use levers. Uh, for get higher displacements and gear train to get higher rotational speeds <coughs> that is an amplification actually here we will discuss the electronic amplifiers which are used in mechatronic circuits or signal conditioning circuits for amplifying the weak signal into a strong signal so those are called as a operational amplifier or in short op amps an op amp is a linear integrated circuit that has a very high gain uh, for ideal op amp it is about 10 power 6 that is a huge gain we got we get uh, ideally not practically but ideally uh, it is called as an operational amplifier because it can be employed to carry out different mathematical operations like addition subtraction multiplication division etc that's why it is called as an operational amplifier because it can do uh, arithmetic or mathematical operations example given here is lm108 or ca741 uh, which are majorly used operational amplifiers okay basically uh, operational amplifier has two main rules or important rules one is no current flows in or out of inputs of op amp and the second one is the op amp tries to keep the inputs at same voltage so keep in mind these two rules see here now uh, this is the symbol of an uh, ideal operational amplifier so it has uh, two inputs and one output and this is these two lines are of power supply lines vs plus and vs minus are the power supply lines so we need to give power supply for the working of op amp and this negative terminal it is called as a inverting terminal and this positive terminal is called as a non inverting terminal so basically the two rules are applied here uh, see let's go again for those rules no current flows in or out of inputs of op amp and the op amp tries to keep the inputs at same voltage so, so no current will be flowing in and out of this op amp and these two terminals will always try to keep the voltage same that is those are the two rules uh, these rules are required for the calculation purpose when we are going to calculate the gain from the op amp for different types of op amp here uh, different types of Op operational amplifier are enlisted inverting operational amplifier non inverting op amp summing op amp integrating op amp differentiating op amp are the few types there are again uh, subtractive etc are there but we will be uh, dealing with inverting op amp and non inverting op amp in this particular presentation so let's move for an inverting operational amplifier here so in inverting op amp you can see this is the symbol of op amp here the supply lines of operational amplifier are not shown uh, in majority circuits those are not shown but those are there that is the supply lines for the working of operational amplifier the input is taken to the inverting input through a resistor R1 so see here so the input is connected to the input is connected to the 
uh, inverting terminal here it is negative that is inverting terminal uh, input is taken through uh, register r1 to an inverting uh, terminal with uh, non inverting terminal being connected to ground so here non inverting terminal that is this positive terminal is connected to ground okay a feedback path is provided from output via register r2 so here this is our output and the feedback path is provided through register r2 here again back to inverting terminal okay so the potential difference across r1 is see let's see this point is having x so at this point voltage will be vx and the potential difference at this point or across resistance r1 can be given as v in minus vx so here it is v in input voltage and here it is at vx we know at uh, the rule number 2 that operational amplifier will always try to keep its both the input at same voltage so one input we know uh, in terminal we know it is at 0 volts that is it is grounded so it will try to keep this vx that is voltage at this junction 0 so vx will be 0 here so v in minus vx will be equal to v in and so we can say v in will be equal to i1 r1 the current flowing through this resistance will be i1 so it will be i1 and r1 v in will equal to i1 r1 and v out obviously it is inverted output so it will be negative so v out will be so now here the current will be flowing like this so it will be again uh, i1 r2 why i1 because we know first rule of op amp there will not be any flow of current through in input of this op amp so whatever current is flowing through this and whatever current coming from here so addition of these two will be equal to the current equal to this so that will be that is zero so so this current coming is i1 so this current coming is as it is inverted it will be minus i1 so i1 plus this coming is equal to zero so this can we can say it is as minus i1 so v out again will be uh, minus i1 r2 so gain will be v out by v in will be equal to minus r1 r2 by r1 so gain is shown here minus r2 divided by r1 so thus we can uh, so we can calculate the voltage at, at the both terminals and from that what will be the gain of this operation amplifier so gain will be obviously uh, output divided by input so we can directly calculate the gain based on the values of r1 and r2 so gain will be equal to and again negative sign because the output is inverted okay thus the voltage gain of the circuit is determined solely by the relative values of r2 and r1 and the negative sign indicates that the output is inverted that is 180 degree out of phase with respect to input that's why it is called as a inverting the output is inverted okay the next one is non inverting operational amplifier amplifier see the circuit here is shown like this now here what is done output is uh, sorry input is given through non inverting terminal of the op amp and inverting terminal is grounded okay so figure shows the op amp connected as a non inverting amplifier the output can be considered to be taken from across a potential divider circuit consisting of r1 in series with r2 okay so the voltage vx at the fraction that is at this point at this point x the voltage vx will be equal to the fraction of r1 divided by r1 plus r2 uh, this comes from the voltage divider rule so 
by using that voltage divider rule we can calculate the value of Vx which will be equal to V out into R1 divided by R1 plus R2. Since there is virtually no current through the op amp between two inputs, there can be virtually no potential difference between them. Thus, with the ideal operational amplifier, we must have Vx is equal to V in. So, voltage gain of the circuit will be equal to V out by V in is equal to R1 plus R2 divided by R1. We can write it as 1 plus R2 by R1 also. So, this is regarding non inverting operational amplifier. Here, calculation part is also given. So, we can go through it. Okay. So, in this presentation, uh, only this much information is given regarding the operational amplifier that is inverting type amp, uh, op amp and non inverting type op amp. So, gains of both the op, uh, op amps are calculated here. So, for inverting op amp, the gain is d, uh, minus R2 by R1 and for non inverting op amp the gain is uh, r1 plus r2 by r1 here r1 and r2 are the resistances r1 the resistance connected uh, on the terminal side and r2 is the feedback resistance connected from output side so basically uh, this was regarding two types of op amps remaining types we will go through in next presentation thank you